Hello everyone and welcome to LearnTag. In this quick video I'll show you guys how you can update any kind of Wi-Fi driver that you are using to the latest version or to the correct version. So if you are having Wi-Fi issues, one, the first thing that you may want to try is to update your driver of your Wi-Fi card. But how we can identify which Wi-Fi card we are using? So the first thing that you have to do in Windows 11, but the steps are pretty much the same if you are using Windows 10. So we open settings. So we just go at search and we type settings. And there from options on the left, you have to find network and internet. And in my case, I have also connected my computer with the Wi-Fi. So we click over Wi-Fi here and then we choose the Wi-Fi properties over here and here we can find more information regarding my Wi-Fi card. So in my case I'm using the Realtek and this is the version that I am using on my computer. So the first thing or the first method that you have to do is through the device manager but it's important to remember the name of your Wi-Fi adapter. How we open the device manager, we go over start here and we click with the right of the mouse over there and then we choose device manager. You can go over the device manager by just searching also here at the start device manager. And once you see the device manager from the search result, you open it in order to find the adapters and to update them. So from these options over here, we choose network adapters and here it is the driver or the adapter that I'm using right now for my Wi-Fi. So we select that one and then we click with the right of the mouse over there and then we click over update driver. Then you will see two options. The first one is to search automatically for the driver and the second one is to browse my computer for the driver. I'm going to choose the first one and normally usually it will show the best drivers for your device are already installed. If you want, you can also search for updated drivers on Windows Update. Normally by default you don't have to update manually those drivers but in case that you are having certain issues with your wi-fi adapter you may want to do this so over here for example i want to update my computer so it's there are some updates that are left there so we'll install there all and let's see after the update if it will fix the problem that i may have with the wi-fi another thing that you may want to try over windows update is to go over advanced options over here you have to go optional updates and here you have to search for other updates or optional updates that may be there which may be related with the Wi-Fi. The next method how to update the driver is by going again over the device manager we choose update driver and then we browse the computer for the drivers. So here we choose let me pick from the list of available drivers on my computer and in my case it's only this one we click over next and it will install the driver. I'm going to lose the internet connection for some seconds, but as you can see here, but then it will come back again. Windows has finished installing drivers for this device. We close it and then this is how we do a reinstallation or an update of the driver. If neither of these methods shown till now didn't help to update your driver, then the last method is to download this driver from the internet. So we search the name of the driver, which we copied from the uh, network and internet settings. So we went over here, we click over the Wi-Fi adapter properties and here it was the name exactly of the adapter. We search here driver and then we go download and over here we search to find the correct driver that we may need. In my case, I'm using a Lenovo computer. I am gonna continue with this one and here it is it should be this one that we need to update you can also download from hp if it is on the hp or from realtek by itself wherever you find that it is the official website for your driver here it is also in the realtek website you can search over here for the driver that you are using and you download the version that you want and then you install that one so these are some of the methods how to update the first one was through the device manager the second one is to update your computer and third one is to download the driver by yourself through the web that's all that i want to share with you guys today i hope that you like this video and please consider subscribing to our channel wish to you all the best thank you